the woman that the lactation specialist for the hospital was there. And as they did the introductions, she said, I had two births. The first one I was raped in the hospital. And the second one I had at home. So that was good for the doctors to hear. And they're like, and she was one of the people in the hospital. So then she said, and remember in Greece now, they were in the same place you were in 13 years ago. Now they have a birth center. They have midwives and, and doctors doing it at home in Athens, Thessaloniki, Zanthi. Um, great woman up there. She's a doctor. Um, she and see, she she's been an obstetrician for as long as I've been a midwife, like 30, 34 years, long time. She's a few years older than I am. But so so when they asked me this question, I looked at this. I looked at this. You know, anytime you take a test from the NICU nurses who I did a birth with, anytime you take a test, you say to yourself, what information am I going to get from this test? And what will I do with that information? That's a good nurse for you. I like the medical people because they help me break down my prejudice. Now that I'm inundated within my families, I, should, I better like them. But, <laughs> I sleep with them, I bury them. <laughs> anyway, um, and so my question to him was, who are you, who are you avoiding? I mean, why are you doing this test? Twice Down syndrome. And I said, I looked at those guys and I said, do you know any Down syndrome people? And I said, well, I do. I have a brother that's Down syndrome, some of my closest friends. They're fabulous people. In fact, I prefer hanging out with them more than they go, oh, oh yeah, but they could never be educated. And I said, bullshit, I have one friend who's Down syndrome that got a college degree. You don't even know what you're talking about. You're running so scared of something you don't know. And in fact, they're the first people Hitler went after. Lethal injection. So what are you so afraid of? It's like, because that's a sensitive issue with me. Because see, my brother was taken away when I was 10 and he was 4. And it took me 25 years to get him out. But I did. I spent more years out than in. He just died this year. I spent more years out than in. And he was my greatest teacher. I mean, a fabulous human being. So I, I just, I looked at him and I said, you know, and in fact, I heard such a sad story in Agana. When I was teaching, she actually emailed me. It's just like, these machines are so wrong, so many times. Someone asked me for one of the birthday magazine to write an article for it. I just haven't had time, but they're so wrong. I can't tell you how many kids they're aborting that are fine. Six months, seven months, eight months, especially over here. See, it's a big problem in the United States because you guys are going to head towards it too. When I was teaching at the medical school, there was someone from Hungary, someone from Lithuania, someone from Spain, medical students, someone from Greece, someone from another blonde, I forget where she was from, somewhere where it 